Now scallop is accomplished quite easily. If we have two molecules and one molecule going to two molecules, but we need to count something larger than molecules, we can easily scale that up by say, instead of calling this two here as representing individual molecules, let's just call this two dozen. Now we know if this is two dozen H2, then how many molecules do we have? We actually have 24. We have 24 molecules of H2. And you could do that dimensional analysis. How many molecules of H2 do I have if I start with two dozen? And you know for every one dozen of anything, there's 12 of those things. In this case, we're talking H2 atoms. So what do you have? 2 times 12 is 24 H2. And you can see. Now you knew that logically. If it's a difficult or odd number, something with a large fraction, you would need to multiply it out. So that's the fundamentals of how easily it is to scale something up. You just take the coefficient and the equation, and you call it something bigger, and that gives you a bigger number of items. Here's the problem that we're running into. A dozen is still not big enough. I cannot count. I cannot see a dozen H2 molecules. I need to scale this up to something really, really big. And the conversion factor that we're going to use, the thing that we're going to scale it up with, is called Avogadro's number. And that is, in one mole of something, there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of those things. So, you don't need to freak out about that. You're very familiar with the dozen. One dozen of something has 12. You just got to treat this like a large dozen. One mole of something has 6.02 and 10 to the 23rd. That's it. Don't overthink it. So now let's see our scale up. Let's say we now call this two moles of hydrogen. How many molecules of hydrogen do we now have? Well, let's see it. How many hydrogens do I get if I have two moles? And I know for every one mole of H2, there's 6.02 to 10 to the 23rd of them. Again, this ratio is known as Avogadro's number. It's given a name. And what do we get? 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd H2 molecule. Now, this is a huge number. 12.04. Matter of fact, this is so big, I could actually see it. If I put this many molecules of H2 on my balance, I'll be able to actually see a number. I can measure that. And so, with chemistry, the bottom line is we are going to scale up with this thing called Avogadro's number. Well, that's the one problem remedied. We can scale it up. Now, how can we actually make sure we have a ratio of two of these for every one of these for every two of these? That ratio has to be perfect. But yet, we can only, in the real world, we can only weigh things. We can't count them. I can't count out that many molecules. I have to weigh them out. So how are we going to handle that concept called count my weighing? And let me illustrate it. Let's say I have a nail, and that nail weighs 12 grams. So I could make myself a little ratio, right? I could say there's 12 grams in every one nail. Fair enough. How does that help me? Well, let's say I need, I have a bag of nails, and let's say that I need to know how many nails are in that bag, but I can't open it up. In other words, I have to give you a nail count, the number of nails, but I can only do it using a balance. I can only do it by weighing. Can I do it? Sure I can. I put the bag of nails on a balance and it says 984 grams. That's all I need to know. Just two things. I just need my conversion factor. And notice this conversion factor. And this is really important here. 
Notice that this conversion factor has a weight and it has a count. So this is a conversion factor. My weight to count, I know that one count of nails, one nail weighs 12 grams and that's it. Little hint looking ahead here. This is, you're gonna get these counts and weights for atoms from the periodic chart. That's what it gives you, but that's a story for another day. Let's continue with our saga here. How am I gonna count how many nails? Now I can do it. I wanna know how many nails, using dimensional nails, of course, do I get starting with 984 grams? I know that there's 12 grams for every one nail. Looking at the fundamentals, grams crosses off. I'm left with nails. That's the unit that I'm looking for. That looks great. So let's just multiply that out. And what I wind up with is 82 nails. So for our chemistry calculations, for our stoichiometry, we are going to use Avogadro's number for scaling up. And we are going to use the atomic weights in the periodic chart to do our count by weighing.